Yes, Jacqueline Smith as Kelly Garrett on Charlie's Angels. She's currently co-starring with Robert Mich Mitchum in a new murder suspense mystery called Night Kill, airing December 18th on NBC. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacqueline Smith. <laughs> They're a wonderful audience, and this is, <clears throat> she's beautiful, she's, let me tell you, she's just as beautiful in person as she is on television, is that not true? The last time we saw each other was under slightly different circumstances, is when wow. Daryl and I had our television show, The Captain, Captain and Tennille Show, right. four years and ago. You, it was your first year with, with the Angels, yeah. was that right? and we were all on, Farrah, Kate, and I. All of you were on. Yeah. And you looked just as, you looked rested and relaxed and wonderful uh, after having done that thing for four years. Yeah, it's a, this is my fifth season and my last season on Charlie's Angels. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It'll go on. There's so many new angels. <laughs> I want to talk about that, but before we do, I want to talk a little bit about the film that you're doing. Now, is this, is this your first film? It's not really your first one. Well, yeah, it's, it's my first leading role in a film, yes. I mean, I had done the users for television. Right. And uh, so this is, you know, it's a total departure for me. It's quite different from your character of Kelly Garrett. Absolutely. I, I wanted to do a role that uh, would be more demanding. Uh -huh. You know, I'm sort of typed on Charlie's as uh, somewhat of a, a Barbie doll. This role, uh, the character I play, she experiences every emotion and she has to maintain a, a high emotional level throughout the film. I just wanted to do something totally different. That would stretch you and, yes. and make you reach for and things. It, and take a step. Did you feel, uh, now w when you went into Charlie's Angels, how much acting experience had you actually had? Well, uh, not a lot. I had studied. Right. And uh, I had done a semi-regular <laughs> on a show called Switch and McLeod, but Charlie's was really my first big role. Extensive role. Yes. Now, did you feel that over the years, as uh, just doing that, that you have grown and, and you're more confident as an actress than you were in the oh, beginning? yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great training ground. Uh, like, when I did the film this summer, it was two pages a day. Charlie's Angels is ten pages a day. I mean, you have to move so fast and, and be so quick and learn your lines so quick. They throw things at you. So it's rush, rush, rush. Yeah, do you ever feel that when you do a scene and they say, okay, it was fine technically, and so they take it, that maybe it wasn't what you oh, wanted? Right. Absolutely. We have to move because we're losing the light and we have a certain amount of things, we, you know, air dates and this, and you really can't be as creative as you as you can when you're doing a film. I don't think people realize how much work and how much out of your life it takes to do a series like that. You're up at, at 5.30, you don't get home until 7 o'clock at night, and this is what, usually six, five or six days a week? Yes, it's, it's uh, five days. We just came back from Hawaii and we were shooting six days. And our hours were, I was up at 4.30 to 6.30 every day. It's hard. It has to be your whole life. It has I mean, to be your whole life. It's a, it's a very disciplined lifestyle. Would you ever really... do it again? Um, not for a while. I mean, I love doing television. I do uh, movies for television, features. Yeah. Where I'm, I'm looking for the right role more. But uh, as far as a series, no, I don't think I would. I would like to wait. How do you go about looking for the right role? I mean, do people, I mean, people must come to you, producers, with roles and say, we'd like for you to do this. Or do you ever search them out yourself? Well, I'm always reading. Uh, I have uh, my own production company, mm -hmm. so we're constantly looking for projects. It's, again, with the time schedule of Charlie's Angels, we, I haven't been able to. I have a, a project, uh, the Gene Tierney story, which oh, the script... Oh, yes, you'd be so wonderful in that, too. Well, it's, it's a meaty role. I mean, I, I would love to do it, but I want the script to be just right. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you This know, is one you'd produce yourself, then. Produce and star in. Oh, wow. So... But you have to wait until Charlie's Angels is over with, so right. you have the time to devote to it. Right. You are on so many magazine covers. Every time I pick up Vogue or Harper's Bazaar, there you are. What is the feeling that you get when you see yourself on the cover of one of those mm. magazines? Well, it's exciting. I mean, oh, to yeah. do Vogue, I, my Vogue cover was shot by Richard Avedon. So that was thrilling oh, to yeah. have him. What was he like that. to work with? He was wonderful. He was very quick. I mean, he was perhaps the quickest photographer I'd worked with. He knew just what he wanted. Uh, it was not as much movement and wild free you know that they do with the strobe lights right today his was more um portrait 
and very, uh, I mean, he, he knew what he wanted. He knew I mean, what he, he wanted. didn't overshoot. And I guess that comes from years of fantastic work. And that keeps you fresh and interested in what's going on, so the photographs sometimes turn out better that right. way. Right. But the feeling that you get when you see yourself in the in these magazines that are, are the epitome of glamour, do you feel that that's mm. you? Uh, no, it's always surprising. I mean, they get so many different looks and so many with the different hairdos and the makeup. Yeah. It's always a surprise, you know. It, it, no, I don't always see myself. I really don't. I'm sort of a down-to-earth, you know. I, no, I don't. No, you are very much yeah, so. It's uh, not totally glamour-oriented in the magazines always, and our show is that, is that way. Now, there are other magazines and other rags that we all find ourselves in from time to time. I'm talking about the ones you read in the supermarket checkout line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you feel when you see a story in one of those things, like Daryl and I saw in, in one, of the, one of the rags uh, a few years ago, that he and I were, were divorced. We were living yeah. in separate homes. Mm. Uh, and the television show had driven us apart. Well, of course, it's a bunch of bull. But, but everybody who read it believed it. We started getting letters from little kids saying, I cried all night. Right. You know, how oh, could you be divorced? I was counting on you. What do you do when you read something like that about yourself? Well, uh, the first time it happened to me, it was, it was disturb totally disturbing. It was about the show and getting, getting along with the girls. Oh, they had a field day with that. Yeah, didn't I they? mean, it just went on. None of the angels ever got along, which right. was a total, uh, it was not a truth. Yeah. Uh, then when it got into my personal life and it involved my family, you know, I'm protective of them and they have to listen to their friends calling up. I mean, I know it's part, it goes along with being on a television series, but I really wish they'd get the facts right, get you know? Get the facts right. I mean, there, there's, I've been linked with everybody. I mean, I'm the biggest run around in town. I don't have time, you know? But uh, I, I'm, I'm always astounded at who they come up with, and they splice the pictures together, and it looks, <sighs> and, you know, my mother gets 100 calls a day. Oh, it's somebody new. So I really wish that the facts were right. I mean, I know you have to expect a certain amount, but it can be heartbreaking. I think that people need to realize when they read magazines like that or papers like that, that most of it is just made up and created for sensationalism and that you just simply cannot believe everything no, you read in those true. papers. We're going to talk more about this after the commercial, so don't go away.